For hundreds of years, sea monsters have surfaced to wreak havoc against sailors and societies established inland. To counter this, sailors venture outward on their ships to hunt the beasts across the ocean. The most famous of these being the crew of the Inevitable, led by the legendary Captain Crow, his first mate Sarah Sharp, and his adopted son, the equally unrivaled monster hunter Jacob Holland. They are financially backed by the King and Queen of the Crown, who have established a distinguished society dubbed Three Bridges. After being nearly killed during a hunt, Crow tells Jacob that he will make him captain once they kill a beast known as the Red Bluster that took his eye, which will also serve as Crow's last hunt. The crew returns to Three Bridges to collect their payment for their latest catch but are told by the King and Queen that they will soon be replaced by a naval vessel dubbed the Imperator, headed by Admiral Hornigold, who will carry on the hunting of sea beasts in their place. Jacob proposes that his crew be given one more chance to kill the Red Bluster to continue hunting beasts in their name should they succeed, which the King and Queen accept. Moments after they depart, the crew discovers that an orphan girl named Macy Brumble, whom Jacob met the night before, has stowed away on the ship to join them, having been inspired to do so by her late parents who died during a hunt, and is a big fan of Crow, Jacob, and Sharp. One night, the inevitable is attacked by the Red Bluster. Despite Crow's orders, Jacob hesitantly allows Macy to cut a line connecting the ship to the Bluster and saves the crew but the Bluster slips away. Angered, Crow holds both of them at gunpoint and demands Jacob bring Macy to him. Before the Bluster emerges from the depths and swallows Macy, and Jacob whole. Stuck inside the beast, Jacob and Macy escape through the bluster's nasal cavity where they wind up stranded on an island populated by several beasts, the bluster among them. Macy discovers that the bluster doesn't react with malice towards the both of them and begins to befriend the beast, naming her Red. Macy begins to believe that the monsters they were hunting are misunderstood creatures, which Jacob denies. The next morning, she befriends a smaller creature she names Blue during which she and Jacob disturb a large nest of infantile beasts, forcing them to escape the island. When a large crab-like beast tries to kill them, Red emerges and defeats it, saving them. Jacob and Macy are able to convince Red to take both of them to Rum Pepper Island so that they can secure a ship to take them back to Three Bridges. Meanwhile, believing Jacob to be dead, Crow slips into madness over his desire to kill Red. He seeks out an elderly merchant named Gwen Batterby, who gives Crow a poison powerful enough to kill Red and a massive weapon capable of firing a harpoon tipped in it. While on Red's back, Jacob and Macy bond with the creature and each other. Jacob grows an epiphany and supports Macy's belief of the beast being innocent, renouncing his ways as a hunter. They reach Rum Pepper Island but discover that the Imperator and Hornigold are stationed there. Red attacks the vessel, which rains hail fire at the beast with cannons, one of them wounding Macy. Before the beast can kill Hornigold after she destroys the Imperator, Jacob momentarily stops her from doing so. Red spots the inevitable and attacks, but is shot by the poison-tipped harpoon and nearly dies, with Crow keeping her alive long enough to bring her to the crown as a trophy. Macy is nursed back to health but is imprisoned in her room aboard the inevitable as it arrives to the crown, with Red in tow. After Blue returns to free Macy, she discovers that all the books she's read about the beasts and their hunters are propaganda created by the crown. In front of a large gathering of civilians in the kingdom, Crow prepares to publicly execute Red before being stopped by Jacob. Crow overpowers Jacob in a vicious duel, while Macy and Sharp, who begins to believe Macy's worldview of the beasts, as well, free Red from her binds. Macy and Jacob convince Red to spare Crow, and expose the crown for their lies and deceptions and the kingdom renounces their beliefs about the beasts, including Crow. With Red and the other sea beasts left alone, Macy and Jacob begin their new lives together as a family, alongside Blue. Thanks for watching, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell icon, so you do not miss out on our latest videos.